The tropics have a new major storm this morning after Beryl became a Category 4 hurricane as it pushed through the Caribbean over the weekend. The possible first sign of a crowded 2024 season. In the span of 24 hours. Yeah, it's rapidly strengthened all the way since it's formed. You know, just this time yesterday, it was a tropical depression. Tropical depression Beryl went from minor threat to major storm. Certainly would be very early for a major hurricane to occur anywhere in the Atlantic Basin. Uh, we don't typically get... Uh, most of those occur typically in the uh, the peak months of August, September, October, so it is very unusual. A sign present in hurricane-prone places like Miami that dealt with its own share of heavy rains and thunderstorms over the weekend. And while the United States is not currently under threat by Hurricane Barrel, ankle deep water like this may go significantly higher and have the chance to because forecasters expect this hurricane season to be the most active since 2020. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly an indication that conditions are lining up to be favorable across the basin. Uh, NOAA is forecasting an above average season. We're watching two other systems at the moment, one uh, moving into the southern Gulf of Mexico and another farther out in the eastern Atlantic that both have a shot at becoming a tropical depression or tropical storm over the next several days. So this uh, may just be the beginning of an active uh, period. Barrel is now the second named storm of the 2024 season as it pushes through the Caribbean and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration foresees a range of 17 to 25 named storms. At this point, we don't see a threat to the uh, mainland U.S. from this system, but we'll keep watching it. That would still be uh, quite far down the road. Hurricane Barrel's winds are now hitting 120 miles per hour, and Islanders have been scrambling to put emergency preparations into place with hundreds of people across Barbados evacuating to shelters.